I'm going to change the topic. <laughs> Joe Patino, 12 Sunset. When are you doing the inspection on Laurel Hill? Okay, could I be notified? Because I'd like to be there. Could you notify me? Okay, that'd be fine. I can point them out. I got pictures and everything. Okay. It's all the rain drainage. It needs to be fixed before you guys take ownership of that road. Right. I want to make sure that's done before. Okay. I think he's just asking, and I've seen it too. Joe and I live very close to each other. That there's there are significant drainage issues there that need to be addressed, and we need to make one hundred thousand percent sure that it's addressed before we take anything over, because you don't want to. We don't want to be in a situation where we're trying to go backwards, or we have to take on a liability. We had a uh, we conducted a uh, uh, pre-construction meeting out there and gave them a punch list of items that we wanted to address. And uh, the top of us were, were the drainage issues. Uh, as part of the original design, you had drainage swells went into the inlets and didn't have shoulders or wedge curves going into those inlets. And it was just a matter of putting shoulders, wedge curves, and aprons into those inlets. And they were told to do that. So when I go out to do the final inspection, the inspection on that, I'll be looking to see that those punch of signs have been addressed. Okay. Thank I've been doing this for almost 40 years. Okay. Um, is Cecil planning on having a fair this year? Cecil Township? Yeah, the fireman's fair. Oh, well, that would be addressed to the... The fireman's fair is canceled. Okay. Well, no, not because of drilling. <laughs> Quite honestly, it's a lack of participation from the residents and from uh, uh, just uh, uh, an overwhelming amount of calls to the fire department and our people are getting burned out. So uh, we are going to devote our time to training and answering emergency calls and uh, uh, the, the amount of money that we got from the fair the past couple of years isn't really worth it. So. Don, did you get in touch with... Uh that property I talked to you about during the flood, is it going to be cut? It was a return Okay. Mike, you've done that before you and I even had a conversation. Okay. Thank you. That's all I got. Quickly, I'd like to make a quick announcement just as a reminder. The fireworks in use are Friday, July 5th, um, use church at dark. They're amazing. Joe does a great job. Come see him. Sorry. Go ahead. Hi, Joanne McCartney, and I'm at 4015 Sir James. I'm back to the topic. Okay. <laughs> um, I just have a couple of just general questions from what I've seen tonight. Um, may I ask who on, on the board currently was there and made the vote that the gas well would be okay in the area at that time? Could you raise your hand, please? Just you, you, they don't have to answer. It's yeah. their choice whether or not they answer. Oh, that they were on because we didn't live in this area, so we don't know who was on the board at the time. So that's why I was asking who was on the time. On the board was Supervisor Savavik, Cassiola, Adizio, uh, Calvin, and myself. Okay. So the way that it sounds and the questions that have been asked and presented, it sounds like the past board did not do their homework uh, before voting on it. There are so many questions that really should have been addressed, such as this road access, the width of the road, as everyone's been talking about, um, the future of the homes in the area. Um, and I know myself, when a school bus comes up the street, I have to pull aside so that school bus can fit up going up that street. Now, you're talking about a huge truck, many trucks in a row going up that street. So I'm, my question to you guys today are, do you have the ability to stop everything right now until you can research it better? So we've answered that a number of times. The conditional use hearing is closed. It's in litigation at this point. We can't comment on it because it is in litigation. We have asked our solicitor to look into whether or not range resources should be required to follow um, subdivision land development ordinance. As soon as we know that, we will answer that question. 
So it's in litigation to know whether you can, again, reconvene and decide as a new board here whether this continues. No. no. The conditions, there is a, we are being sued, or we are being sued by range resources, or by a township resident because of our decision to approve the well pad, the Augustine well pad. So we can't publicly discuss that because we are currently being sued by a resident for that decision. Well, and please understand, while it is a majority board decision, not every sitting member of this board decided in favor of it, and that will be available. Well, we, we, we did have discussions in a workshop, you know, prior past two years about the process of actually what would happen through that whole process of uh, trucks being escorted, safety measures, I mean, that's all on uh, range resources, the people to do this drilling. They have to be held to highest standards. I'm sure they don't want nothing to go wrong there during the drilling process. And it just has to be inspected. I mean, uh, something needs to be done with that 15-foot wide road there. Then, I mean, if there's anything we can put on a developer to try to expedite that, because there is a ravine there that needs pipe. And at that width, it's just hard to get two vehicles by one another. But I do agree with that. So is it the board's position that they can continue to do the well pad and do the construction of it, even though you're in litigation, you don't have to wait to after the litigation is all done to, to then make a decision? Right, so I think this has been answered already. That there was no stay of the process. So it's in litigation, and unless someone seeks and achieves a stay or an injunction is another word for it, there's nothing legally to, to stop it unless it's safe. If things are unsafe, I'm sure the police department, you know, could shut things down. You know, if it's not safe to, to have traffic on that road, they'd have to find another route and not use that one. I don't think that's true. No. I'm sorry. You can't shut it down. Sean, you can speak up. You can shut one down. On what basis? Unsafe travel measures on the road. I mean, that would be basis enough there for a safety issue to shut something down so, or have them find another route. Right, and if there were a particular issue that is a police issue, so if someone were on the road and yeah, it, it you know, not, not bonded and they had like an overweight truck on a weight restricted road, yeah. uh, there are reasons It's why. more of a temporary situation. The board would have to make a long term decision if that would occur. It's not a long term decision. And my last question is, um, was it reviewed that when um, they do the vertical and horizontal, when the horizontal is coming out from the well, is this going to be anywhere near the gas uh, pipeline that the gentleman talked about um, that is huge that's for Columbia Gas's uh, pipeline? Is it going to be? We don't know that. We can't answer. We don't know. They don't tell us which direction or where they're going. Um, Isn't that important for our state? Even they're down, they're down, they're down, down a couple of thousand feet yeah, when they're. No, it's not. Yeah, they're, they're, they're never going to take that. Yeah, but that's not something they tell us. Okay, and have they told you? They haven't told you whether it's going to go under Windsorwood or. If we can stop the talking just for a minute while she's talking. Sorry. Thank you. Or, or, or either under the other homes where it's going to go, have they, have they told you that, or they've given you some type of plot? Or a if you can picture a, a wheel of bicycle, that's basically what they do. They go out in every direction. Okay. Well, I do hope you to reconsider and really look at all the different aspects with it um, when this all comes to that. What could it help with litigation? I think it still should be whether they, people win or don't win the litigation, I just think as a board, we need to really consider the differences of the change that happened since the original vote was there, and the difference in growth in our community and how many people are now living there, and they're still not built, done building. They're, they're still building our community um, as a whole. So thank you. Jennifer Andres Moniker, Cecil resident, Cecil Township. Um, that was a big hit to hear not about the fire department, not having that part of whole. And I am on the auxiliary board from the parks. And um, this weekend we 
Uh, there was a, I also run the I Love Cecil PA page, which is almost 4,000 uh, local residents on that page. And I belong to it. I push a lot of activities in the area for the families to do. Uh, if it's not with the township or just South Point or McDonald's, Hampshire, but um, so hearing about the fire department not having enough volunteers killing me and um, this weekend there was a lot of complaining about the Venice Cemetery with, with Memorial Day and the comments under that was tremendous so they posted you know help and there was not much help this weekend. So not with just cemeteries and fire departments, um, the parks, we need people, the new people, the old people, and I'm so busy with my kids and my job and everything, but like, I, killed, I just came here late because I was with my kids at dance, and I came here late out of volunteer to be here, what's going on, and I please push just 30 minutes, 40 minutes of your time, if it's at the fall festival, if it's at the cemetery, if it's at the fire department, because 40 minutes goes a long way. So um, just because this was going on, I felt like I had to say something just because of what's been going on with volunteering. Please, please help. And if you need and want to help, private message me, call me. I'm more than willing to delegate something off. Thank you.